everyone, it's Roger and James here, founder of the Skinner Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about the recent rumor of a brand new LEGO Incredibles 2 video game, apparently set to be released in sort of May, June, around the time that the new movie comes out. This is very much in the kind of the rumor zone, but there's been lots of stuff floating around for a while on the leak net. Um, there's been lots of talk about this stuff. It... I'll be honest, it was one of those situations of when it kind of kind of got rumoured, I'm like, yes, an Incredibles game. It suits. Lego are very good at making superhero video games. You have the Marvel video games. You also have the DC versions, which apparently there's also going to be a DC uh, video game coming later this year as well, which makes sense, alternating between Marvel. But also the Incredibles in some ways makes it a little bit easier because they can just flip the skin over on some of their Marvel or DC characters, and they've instantly got a very easy... Just to say, that sounds a lot easier than creating everything from scratch. They've also got two movies that they can base it on. They can. They, I wouldn't surprise me if it's like a, a retelling of the two could, together. They kind of flush it out a little bit. Um, I really like this idea. What do you think? I'm definitely down for this. I hope that there is some meat to this, and I hope that... You know, it's basically going the way we expected to. The Incredibles, it's no secret, are, are basically the Fantastic Four to begin with. So they already yeah. exist in the Marvel engine. You just got to put the skin on top of them. Mm. I would ideally like them to do basically a Legoized retelling of one and two, but also give us a bridge story. Give us something that happens yeah. in between the two. Just, you know, or maybe like a, a Frozone side adventure, something that we can't get anywhere else. Or like Lego Force Awakens, show us some of the side stories that show yeah. that occur in the comics for people who don't read comics or who, yeah, you know, the books. It's going to be interesting as well because it doesn't really feel like there's a massive catalogue of characters for them to do playable as. I mean, they've got a few other heroes and villains from the first movie, but whereas I think Marvel and DC have got hundreds of characters, I'm kind of thinking more like Jurassic World game where they only had, they would like just jumping. But then again... That's that's never stopped them. Yeah, I just kind of, in some ways, it would be nice just to have a core ten characters and they just focus on that rather than trying to put too much in. I mean, obviously, you know, hopefully we get like a, a season pass or some dub bonus, maybe even throw in a few bonus Pixar characters here and there as, um, yeah, uh, you know, they, just tie it in they, a bit. You know, they did that back in the original Star Wars Lego game where they tossed in Indiana Jones yeah. as a little like uh, thing and then I think in Indiana Jones you could unlock Han Solo and Chewie or something yeah. along those lines um, yeah I would like a smaller cast but let's be honest it's, it's not going to happen yeah. you're probably going to have uh, original version of Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl you know the old blue costumes that they had yes, at the beginning yeah, of the yeah. movie Frozone will be there and then they do have like that whole list of heroes that get killed by yeah. the giant thing that's what I was uh, thinking and then there's Syndrome, and then I'm sure we're going to have new heroes in the new one, because now, you know, with the events of the first movie, it's okay to be a hero again, yeah. presumably, yeah. and, you know, Jack-Jack will be in there, and it, the babysitter will probably yeah. be in there, so... Yeah, the, there was one, one thing that did actually draw on me, was, and it was in our predictions episode a few weeks ago, was I was thinking June was going to be the Star Wars Last Jedi um, Lego tie-in game, and... I'm like, oh, no Star Wars. Okay, that's a little bit interesting. I was, I would have, I would have put a place to bet on that, and I would have, by the looks of it, would have lost because I don't know if they're going to go for three games this year. Would that be too much? Well, they did three games last year, so yeah, unless they do the Han Solo game later the year or just a generic I Star Wars. Like, I mean, <laughs> considering we got a Star Wars movie out in like. Four well, weeks, four, three, four that's true. Months and we know nothing about it. Um, yeah, we haven't even had a trailer yet. But remember last year, you know, they released the Lego Ninjago movie yeah. game like two or three weeks before Lego Marvel Super Heroes yeah. 2. So they haven't necessarily shown uh, the smartest planning no. in terms of releasing. So we could still have a Last Jedi. Honestly, yeah, I would not mind them doing a Last Jedi, especially if it included Rogue One and Han Solo yeah. content. But I, I'm kind of actually would prefer if they waited another two years and did Last Jedi, whatever Episode Nine is, and then uh, a little bit of Han Solo Rogue One yeah. action, or 
just a straight up episode one to episode nine. Just a Star Wars. Super. Game. Yeah, you do, yeah. It doesn't have to. The one through six doesn't have to be anything more than a remastered, upskinned version mm-hmm. of the original games with the new characters. But yeah. you know, yeah, I mean, that's not that's not what we're here for. We're no, here for it's a, yeah, it's that kind of thing of. It wouldn't surprise me if that was slipped in this year, but um, or you know, I mean, I would have thought if we'd heard more about it, we would have. So, you know, starting to hear these rumors. I mean, uh, the Lego Incredibles two sets are set to be released around about um, April. Um, they're all under, like, on the big cape at the minute. You can't see them. There's links like normal with Lego that they were around, but and there's been like rumors of this for a while. It does make a lot of sense. It definitely keeps in with this kind of, like, basically superhero factory that they've got going over at Lego and also it would make I mean the only other thing is if they got the two team but they could have been working on this for a long time because originally I thought maybe um, Avalanche were working on an Incredibles 2 game which I said apparently that could be a Harry Potter style game so who knows but I did say an Incredibles 2 tie-in game and it looks like it's going to be Lego yeah and uh, I'm Perfectly fine like that with that, because mm-hmm. like you said, you know, they've already got the superhero engine. These heroes are already based on Marvel heroes. You know, um, not not mm-hmm. quite. They, I mean, they changed around the characters. The Thing becomes the leader. Yeah. Mister Fantastic becomes the wife, etc. But the power sets are the same. Jack Jack, of course, is kind of an am- amalgam yeah. character. So they could easily do it and. This would be a good way to kind of test the waters to see if a Lego Disney game yeah. could be, be... Because if it sells well, then we could start seeing some other Lego yeah. Disney or Pixar stuff. There there are ones that fit in there. I'd love to see something, you know, medieval. Toss in some of the old, like, Black Cauldron, Sword in the Stone kind of well, stuff. Not, I mean, with, not yeah. under their banner, but under, like, yeah, a, I mean, they a have larger got, banner. They have got, like, a Sword of the Stone movie kind of in production. The thing is, this is the first. Kind of. This is like the first Disney game since Pirates of the Caribbean. It's the, then they haven't really done one for. I do think this is the idea, really, of where they are more likely to do individual um, licenses rather than throwing them all under one banner. Because, in some ways, ways this means they get a lot more legs out of it. Right. Um. So yeah, I I think this is good. I think this. I'm 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 really I. I think this is happening, and I'm kind of quite. I'm quite happy to be playing this around June time. I would actually be very disappointed if it turned out that this rumor was wrong. No. But well, we'll see. And it will make a change as well. I think from having that kind of sort of Star Wars, Marvel constant churn of games that we've been playing for a decade, to suddenly having something fresh and new. So we'd love to know your thoughts on an Incredibles Lego game. Comment below. Or get in touch with us on the social medias. On that note, you can find us over at Diskingdom.com, so make sure you hit that um, uh, favorite or bookmark it. You can also find us on social media. You can also hit that subscribe button on whichever audio or video platform you are watching or listening this on. And you can also um, help out the show by going to Patreon.com and you can donate as little as a dollar a month and that helps keep um, basically all the software and also keeping the podcasts uploaded and just paying for some things like that. So that would be a, a big help if you could do that and you do get early access to some of these episodes by doing that. James, where can they find you? You can find me, HeroicLegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Later. Later.